Yeah. And let's all try to convince the president of NAP to add the word youth at the end. Not for anything serious, just so we can call it nappy. <laughs> just like calling that. I like seeing all the Arabs out here, which means there are curious Jews sitting in the back somewhere. Any curious Jews? Anybody? I know, stay covert. It's a busy time for you guys, what with taxis and IRS, OJ trial, I know. Yeah, oh, he called the Jew cheap, big deal, taxes. I have a friend who's Jewish, he's very close to me. I like to keep him around, just in case I want to, you know, open my own business or something. It's good to have around. It's good to be around Arabs. I like being around Arabs because we have a certain kinship. We have a similar way of dealing with things and growing up. Like me, I didn't have cable growing up. I had dish. <laughs> Who here had dish? Yeah. Bam, thank you. I didn't have HBO, I had ART. But it was on demand, I had ART on demand, which was my dad busting in the door like, I demand you put on ART. So it was nice. Christmas time came around, I didn't celebrate Christmas because I'm Muslim. So it was kind of harsh, you know, I'm watching TV, I'm watching commercials. You see the little white family with their red and green turtleneck sweaters sitting around a fireplace like, Merry Christmas! Then you see a dreidel and some candles, and it's like, Happy Hanukkah. You see a bunch of Africans and dashikis, they're like, Happy Kwanzaa. Actually, they're like, Do it! But translates it to Happy Kwanzaa. Ramadan, we get nothing. And it's hard to accept that as a little kid, all right? Because you come back after winter break, and you see all the Christian kids with their new clothes and their new toys. You see the Jewish kids with new dreidels and shoe coasters. It's nice. It lights up when they save money. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Africans, they have new spears and whatever. I don't know. But they're like, happy Ramadan. Here, you can't eat or drink for 30 days. What the hell is that? How do you accept that as a little kid? And then, and then when the Eid comes along, the big Eid, they're like, oh, happy Eid. Here's some meat. What the hell is that? Here's a rack of lamb. What am I, Fred Flintstone? What are you going to put it on my bike? It's going to tip over? How the hell am I supposed to accept that as a little kid? It's rough. I didn't get to go to uh, parties when I was younger. I was too busy being dragged to Azumas. <laughs> and who knows about that? Because a party is not the same as Azuma. You're going to a party, you're all excited. Like, hey, what are you doing this weekend? Oh, I'm going to a party, it's going to be a great time. But they're like, hey, Muhammad, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, gotta go to this Azuma thing that I, have to, I really want to go to. And then, as I got older, I'm coming back there, I swear to God. Thank you. It's got really quiet. So, uh, when I got older, my mom, she had to trick me into going, all right? So, she'd be like, oh, there's a Azuma next week. And I'm like, oh, I don't feel like going. She's like, but everybody's going to be there. And I'm like, oh, who's everybody? Everybody. Everybody you know is going to be there. And I'm like, that's kind of impossible to fit everyone I know into four walls. Unless, unless it's a huge house. Are we going to the Playboy Mansion here? Is that where I'm invited to? Because I don't even need you. I will go alone. I don't... Let me just put that straight. Anyone who has any connection with the Playboy Mansion and invites me, I'm going. I don't need any trickery. So, uh, then she goes one of these. She goes, look, look, look. We're just going to eat and leave. <laughs> see this, see this. Yeah, who, who's heard of that one? Eat and leave. Yeah, thank you. And, and you know what, for those of you who don't know what our Zoom is, it's a get-together, it's a family get-together, all right, where parents drag their kids, and we, the two kids just stare at each other like, hey, what's up, what's up, nothing, how's school, good, you, good, good, good. good. Six hours later, you're just going freaking crazy, and they're upstairs laughing it up. And the eat and leave thing is so, is so tempting because we all know the best foods come out in the Azuma, right? It's not, it's not normal food. It's not molucheya or, or like, you know, peas or beans. No, no, no. This is like macarona bechevin. Great please, merci wa ra'inam. Go that kebab, that juicy stuff that makes your mouth water right now and lick your lips. You're like, please, I need to go to Azuma tomorrow. So I'm still on the fence. So she does want to leave, right? She goes, listen, listen, listen. When you want to leave, we will leave. How many have heard that one? And as a kid, you're just like, I don't get a chance to have that much power. I gotta take it. 
So I'm just like, yeah, alright, let's do this. I'm the king, it's my Izuma, we will leave when I want to leave. But all oh, you know, it didn't happen. Yeah. So we get there, and we get there on time. And uh, that's not Arab-like, is it? That's why it's 10.15 uh, now and I'm still here. Because Arabs are never on time. See, when a hostess is having a Izuma, she knows that they're going to come late. So, uh, an Arab hostess, when she wants her guests to come, she'll tell them to come at like 6.30, because she knows they're not going to show up until about 8, but they end up showing up at 9 anyway. So we're there on time, waiting for about 3 hours, and I'm staring at everyone just like, hey, how's school? Good. 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 Alright, everyone comes, we have the food, the food is amazing, alright? But now the king is ready to leave. I'm ready to go. Now, I don't want to be rude because I'm not going to just walk up to my mom and be like, I want to leave. So we're sitting in opposite rooms and I'm like, maybe if I stare at her hard enough, she'll look over. And it works. I'm like staring there and she kind of glances over and I give her one of these. And I think I'm all slick and she does one of these. Yes, yes, this. I don't know what the hell this is. All right? It's like she grabbed time and suspended it in the air. I don't know. All right, I'm used to the one minute, hold on. But this, seriously? Every guy, when you're like a kid, you're like, mommy, mommy, she's like. And when she gets mad, she's like. I don't, but it's, so she gives me one of these, which to me, it meant she just took my power and just swooped it out and suspended it there, in the air. So, uh, I sit there for six hours, six long hours, and uh, I'm contemplating how I can shoot myself in the face, basically. But I didn't have a gun, so it was kind of hard. Finally, finally, my dad's ready to go, and he gives my mom this look, which is far, far superior than me. He's sitting there, he's laughing, he's like, <laughs> and she's in the other room, and she's like, ah! <laughs> All right, and they both just get up, like they're freaking Jedis or something. My parents are Jedis in Azumas. So they get up, the keys are jingling, I'm all happy, ready to go. But then they gotta say bye. <laughs> How many people know about that one? Round of applause. How many times have you taken to say bye an hour and a half? Now this is what happens. See, with white people, very easy. Thank you for having us, the food was great. Oh, thank you for coming. I'll call you, I'll call you, goodbye. They walk away, done. Now with Arabs. Oh, okay, we have to go now. No, 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 you must stay. No, 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 I'm very sorry, we have to go. No, you must stay. What do you have tomorrow? Oh, my husband has work. My son is trying to shoot himself in the face. We really have to go. No, 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 you must stay. At that very moment, that hostess does something very strategic. It's the only way she gets them to stay there for a little longer. She starts the deepest conversation right as you're saying say bye. So it's like, oh, no, 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 I really have to go. Do you know who died last week? I'm like, son of a bitch, you had six hours to discuss who died last week. Stop talking about Gamela Abdel Nasser. Stop talking about how gay Mubarak and his kids are taking up all the land in Egypt. Talk about the guy who died, damn it. Zionist in the back. So we, hour and a half passes, we finally get in the car, we're on the way home. My mom looks back at me, she goes, did you have a good time? I'm like, yeah, it was great. She's like, good, because there's another one next week. <laughs> so, uh, we didn't have any Egyptians up here, but I'm Egyptian. Any Egyptian? <laughs> I know it's obvious that I'm Egyptian because I'm funny. Yeah. But no, no offense to the non-Egyptians, you know, no one's perfect. It's okay. <laughs> I love you guys, that's it. No, but you know what? Egyptians were just made differently, all right? No, we are. We're just built. We're built differently, okay? All right? Like, we don't have blood. We have sweet, syrupy shabbat, coarsely for our face, all right? If we get cut, we can make, like, salmeyed resbusa. It's like, don't waste it! Don't waste it! We get some more. It's probably why we have diabetes. Maybe. I don't know. We don't... We're the only country to not say gene, okay? We'll never say gene. It's gene, all right? It's a hagar, not a hij, okay? We say hag and a hij. There's no gene, all right? If we could do it in English, we would. I'd be from New Jersey and I'd be Egyptian. <laughs> all right? And, and we don't even have similar heartbeats. See, a normal heartbeat, which is like. 
choo choo, choo choo. And Egyptian part, it's a little different. You can probably hear it. It's like choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo, choo choo. That's all I gotta say about Egyptian. You guys have been great. I don't go to